Welcome to the Investor News. In this video, Peter Schiff discusses the stock market and the trends in the market. He believes that the trend will continue throughout the year and that there will be a move into gold and gold-related equities. So when you look at the all-time high, we've barely recovered from last year's low. But again, there's nothing substantive to this rally. It is not supported by the fundamentals. It is simply noise. You're seeing bear market rallies. That's it. And they're going to come to an end. But one of the trends that I do think has legs, and it's something that I have been predicting, is that foreign stocks are outperforming domestic stocks and emerging markets are outperforming developed markets. Because if you look at what's happening so far internationally, global stocks are up, I think, about eight and a half percent on the year, which is ahead of the six percent rise in the S&P 500. And if you just look at emerging markets, there you're up about 10 percent. So that's better than the developed foreign markets. And again, much better than the S&P 500. So we are still seeing a continuation of the move from domestic to foreign and from developed to emerging markets. Those trends, I also believe, will continue throughout the year, as will the move into gold and gold-related equities. That is also happening. Now, so what's happening so far is a reverse rotation where the growth-oriented names are doing much better than the value-oriented names. That is the mirror image of what happened in 2022. So really what's going on is speculators are buying the most beaten down names. They are playing this bounce. The reason that the NASDAQ is up more than the Dow Jones in 2023 is because the NASDAQ was down a lot more than the Dow Jones in 2022. But the fundamentals that drove that rotation in 2022 still exist. So the reason that the NASDAQ was so weak in 2022, that reason hasn't changed. So the NASDAQ should still be weaker in 2023. And in my opinion, it will be once this dead cat bounce is over. In fact, if you remember last year, I had anticipated a Santa Claus rally. It looked to me that based on how the markets were handicapping the situation with the Fed and inflation, that we would have got a Santa Claus rally in December. And that never really happened. It looks like Santa Claus came late and we're having the rally in January. Now, originally, I thought that we'd get that Santa Claus rally in December. And then by the end of the year or January, it would reverse. Well, now, since we didn't get the rally until January, it may not reverse until later in the year maybe in February or potentially March, but I still think the rally is going to reverse. In fact, look at what's happening to the more speculative NASDAQ stocks. The Kathy Wood ARK Innovation ETF is up 29% so far in 2023. Now, of course, this index was down the most in 2022, and that's why people are buying it, but it's the lowest quality type companies that are being bought, the most heavily shorted names are being covered. In fact, the same thing is happening in the crypto space. That's why Bitcoin is up about 30%, I think, on the year. It's trading at just around 23000 right now. And a lot of people are making a big deal about this huge rally in Bitcoin. I think so far, Bitcoin is off to its best annual start ever. But it's only because it's coming off of one of its worst years. Gold stocks are beating the NASDAQ. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. But the bigger difference between the rally in gold stocks and the rally in the NASDAQ is I think not only is the gold stock rally sustainable, but it's going to accelerate. I think these stocks are going to rally even faster later in the year than they are right now. Whereas the rally in the NASDAQ is completely unsustainable, I think we're going to reverse. And before too long, NASDAQ stocks are going to be lower on the year. I think the same thing is going to be true with the U.S. bond market, which so far on the year, 
bonds are also rallying. So you've got a rally in stocks and a rally in bonds. But this follows one of the worst years in history for the stock and bond market combined. So we are getting this January bounce. But I expect that the rally in bonds will be just as short-lived, maybe even more so than the rally in stocks. But I think as the year progresses, it's going to be more obvious that inflation hasn't peaked, that the Fed is nowhere near victorious in this fight, and the economy is actually going to be even weaker than the markets think. The markets think the economy will be weak enough to restrain the Fed, but not so weak that it puts a big dent in corporate earnings. They're wrong. The economy is going to be much weaker than investors think. And it's going to have an even bigger impact on earnings than investors think. But inflation is going to be much higher than anybody thinks. And that is going to really complicate the situation for both the Federal Reserve and the economy. But personally, I don't think we had any real economic growth at all in 2022. I think the main reason that we had 2.1% positive number is because the GDP deflator for the year was too low. Nominal GDP was up by 9.1% during the year, and they deflated it by 7% to get what they claim to be real GDP growth of 2.1%. But just like with the CPI, the GDP deflator, I believe, dramatically understates what's actually happening with consumer prices. I still think that in 2022, the real increase in prices was north of 15% which means if we accurately measured prices to determine a deflator for 2022 GDP, we would have in fact seen a massive contraction in the economy. That's what's actually happened. The government is covering it up by cooking the books, but in reality, the economy is shrinking. And that's why consumer sentiment is so low. That's why Biden's popularity is so low. The economy is not growing the way the government claims it is shrinking. It only appears to be growing because the government is lying about the numbers and the media is helping the government get away with it. In fact, the main reason that we even had the increase in GDP in the back half of 2022 was the improvement in the trade deficit. The trade deficit were still huge, just not as huge as before. And there were some temporary factors that helped reduce the trade deficit. One was the strength of the dollar. Well, the strength of the dollar began to reverse sharply in the fourth quarter of last year. And in fact, year to date, the dollar is down again. The dollar index is down about one and a half percent so far this year. In fact, we closed below 102 with a 101 handle, 101.92 to be exact. And so the weakening dollar is now going to worsen the trade deficit. Also, the trade deficit was impacted positively by oil exports because we had all the oil that was released from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve that we were able to export. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time, they get your life. You are not even in a rat race, you're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1000x my money. This is not a joke. 
I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address and I see you on the other side. Your Markus Dahn.